Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Brotime Media, and today we've got a brand new reaction to a new track from Thirst and Neuphory. Brand new collaboration between these two artists. Neuphory was formerly known as Volant at one point, for any of you Monster Cat fans out there that may know that name. I guess Volant, not necessarily Monster Cat, but more popular in the Monster Cat sphere. So, Thirst and Neuphory. Neuphory does like this now, like, um... They do this, this like hyper trance style is what they've sort of uh, coined. So it's like a really, really fast trance, high speed, high energy, high pace. Uh, and Thirst is a conglomerate of a couple artists that do uh, some funk, some drift funk. So I'm very intrigued to see how the sounds of uh, hyper trance and drift funk are going to go together. But uh, this song was one that was voted on by the members of the channel. Uh, they were ones that decided that this was going to be the one that was voted on. And so if you also want to be a part of uh, the voting, you can uh, join the channel membership today to do that and have a say in what videos we talk about so or what songs we talk about so without any further ado let's hop into this new track this is calling by thirst and euphoria <laughs> already has that hyper trance feel to it already like dance dance revolution music those drifts drift funk thin synths Okay, this is a really good blending of funk and like trance, hyper trance. This is exactly what I kind of thought it was going to be. Wickedly fast track too. Eccentric second round here. You know, not what I expected at all. Kind of a weird quick outro there, but um, yeah, that was not at all what I expected, uh, but it was exactly what I anticipated. I think, I hope that makes sense. Like, you know, sometimes you're like, okay, you, you, you hear two artists. I feel like more often than not, I get into a rhythm where I'm like, oh, these two artists are collaborating. Therefore, the song should sound like this. And it goes like a different direction. I'm like, oh, I still like it, but it just feels like it's it goes a different direction. I like mentally tricked myself that I, it wasn't going to sound like that. And then it sounded perfectly like that. And I actually really liked it. I was a huge fan of that. I uh, personally, I'm not a huge enjoyer of the hypertrance and the funk genres. I think they're okay. They're just not my cup of tea. It's not my general style I go for and that's okay. But like, this was great. This is a great blending of the two styles and genres and artists collaborations. Like this is... Um, it's just quite fun. It's a, uh, it's, it's very much has the idea that both I'm, I'm realizing now that like both hyper trance and this drift funk, they both have this like no nonsense, no big, crazy, like, uh, I don't know, like big lead in long, like drawn out sometimes, uh, intros and outros. It kind of just is, it just goes, it just goes and it goes and it goes and it goes. And it, it does at sometimes make the track feel a little more linear. It makes it feel like it doesn't have a ton of, um, like dynamicism to the track. Uh, but that's what I think, it, not that it didn't have that or not, not that it needed this to have that. I think it kind of adds to the charm of the track where it does feel like it's just constantly, it's just going and going and going. And you get this like, two and a half minute just like rave sesh in both the drift funk lovers dreams and the um, hyper trance lovers and so this is just like a, a beautiful melding of of both styles that i think works almost like better than i've heard most other genre fusions like the, i i can't think of a better more like to the t what i expected what i enjoyed um genre fusion of like this is what it should sound like and this is what it ended up being and i enjoyed it um, it's one of those things where <laughs> sometimes I think my expectations, uh, let me down sometimes. I'm like, oh, I wish it should have this. I wish it had this. That was 
that was what I wanted it to be. And I like psyched myself out of the expectations, but man, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was one of those, this is like not too overly complex tracks, but just works well. So but yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the track calling. I'd love to know what you guys think of this track. I'm um, Thirst Nufori. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Brotide Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.